Hello, Internet. My name is Quinn, and this is Blondie Hacks. So this is the start of the Machinist Relay for 2019. It's a uh, group collaboration project with lots of YouTube makers and machinists. And uh, the idea is that it's like uh, that game you played when you were a kid, where each of you tells uh, the next line in a story, and uh, nobody knows where it's going to go, and the result is lots of fun. So what we're going to do is the same thing, but with machining. So I'm going to start by making something that looks like the start of something. It's going to be like a mechanical thing, and, uh, but it's, it's not going to be quite clear what it is. And I'm going to send it off to the next YouTube machinist, and they are going to add something to it and uh, on down the line. Who knows how long this is going to go or where it's going to, going to end up, but that's the fun. Uh, so part two of this video is being uh, done by Adam Booth, so he's the next person in line for the relay, so uh, I'll link to his video here uh, with a card, and uh, I hope you enjoy the start of the Machinist Relay. All right, let's dive in. So to the junk pile for some brass square bar and some steel, some nice 1018 here. And I'm going to measure and cut the brass down to six inches in length, and over to the mill now, got the big two inch cobalt shell mill on there and uh, gonna square up all four sides. And now the edges and you'll see that I'm using a piece of drill rod there in the vise because the uh, until all four sides are square uh, you can't uh, clamp it squarely in the vise. And over to the half inch end mill now. This is a two flute mill. And I'm going to square up the ends, and uh, I'm actually climb milling here for a little nicer finish. And now we can start milling a slot down the middle. Now I'm milling the slot first, and then the piece that will go inside it, so that it, uh, I can fit one to the other, because the end mill is going to make whatever size it makes. We'll first pass there, see how we're doing. And it's looking good, so we keep going until we're all the way to final depth. And so far so good. And I'm going to cut the slots at the end. One is clearance for the hinge and the other is a finger hole. And uh, these cuts come out perfectly aligned since I just didn't move it in the vise. And then we're going to deburr it with some needle files. Now I'm going to be recessing a magnet, and so I wanted to test fit that first in this piece here. And that worked out good, so I'll use the same technique to cut the hole in my final piece. And over to the steel, I'm going to cut this chunk off on the bandsaw. Looking good. And now the other way. Now I need to cut it one more time lengthwise, and for this I'm using the portable bandsaw, and uh, I clamped some angle iron in there to kind of act as a fence, and uh, this actually gave me a, a very nice straight cut. And back over to the mill now, we've got a four fluid end mill, which is nicer for this 1018 steel, and uh, again squaring up all four sides. So far so good. This uh, 1018 steel is leaving quite a burr, but uh, we're getting the job done with these roughing passes. And I'll do finishing passes as well with a higher RPM and slower feed for a nicer finish, but uh, for roughing we're getting the job done here. And once again squaring up the ends. test fit on our brass channel and it's perfect. Now I'm fine tuning the fit over here on the uh, lapping plate I'm using some 320 grit wet dry emery paper and I'm going for uh, a very uh, kind of a perfect slip fit. And that's kind of a snap-in fit so a little more. Now for the hinge pin I need a very thin rod here so I'm turning down a 1 8 inch piece of 01 tool steel to 75 thou and to do that I'm using the uh, follow rest which allows me to turn very thin stock uh, without getting deflection and now for the hinge pin I'm center drilling 
and drilling all the way through. And uh, I'm doing lots and lots of uh, clearing of chips here because the, the hole is very deep relative to the diameter of, uh, of the drill bit. And a test fit on the hinge pin and it's perfect. Back to the bench now and uh, I'm applying some super glue in that recess that we milled for the magnet and uh, just pressing it into place there with a, a brass tool so that it doesn't stick. It's a, a, a solid press fit with the uh, addition of the glue there. Wipe off the excess. And then a little bit of Loctite 603 on the end of the hinge pin. And then we just slide that into place. Wipe off the excess. And once that all cures, we are done. And listen to that. That's exactly what I'm going for. It clicks in there perfectly and that magnet holds it gently just the way I want it. So I was going for, like I said earlier, something that kind of looks like something mechanical might be the start of something, but uh, it's not exactly clear what it is. And uh, it's a very satisfying click in that way that only machining can do. Love it. So I hope you enjoyed this project. Please do uh, tune in to part two. I'll put a card here in the video when that is ready. Uh, head on over to Adam Booth's channel for that. And uh, I hope you enjoy this entire uh, Machinist Relay series. If you like this content, please do consider supporting me on Patreon. There's a link down there in the description. Thanks for watching.